You're on, Mickey. Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention? The quote of the day, the master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. Thank you, thank you. It's hard to explain what one does. You try to remain a shopkeeper, as I am. I'm a worker. Wow, wow. I love and need to have contact with the store people. I'm not a person that's sitting behind the desk, not out there walking around, working, asking the questions, and trying to figure out how it gets done a better way. Uh, loudspeaker, please. Yeah. Can I have your attention, please? I'm here at Madewell 5th. I have a question about the V-neck pocket tee. I'm wondering if it's the shape of that T-shirt that's selling it like crazy, which is what the team is discussing. And it takes a team of people, because you can't do it yourself. Where's Matt, by the way? Tomorrow. 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 Oh, Tomorrow's Tomorrow. getting married. Yeah. Email Matt and say, Matt, mazel tov, we miss you. Now nah, he doesn't want to know we miss him. <laughs> God, one sec. Martin, now would you like this better? Yeah. I got it. Okay. okay. I'm lucky because I like what I do. It's action. I need, it's, you know, there's this Yiddish term, spilkus. Ants in your pants, so I have spilkus. My best mentor was a woman named Katie Murphy at Bloomingdale's. I think by virtue of I work with a lot of people, now I look at myself more as a teacher than, than before. Mickey's the best mentor that I've ever had. I believe his success has, has been his ability to be in touch with his own intuition. The curiosity, I think, is, is probably what will keep you young. This is a eulogy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is the captain speaking. I've always lived in my imagination growing up because maybe because my life wasn't what I imagined it to be. Well, Jenna says it interestingly. You grew up in a certain way. You wanted certain things. You couldn't afford most of them. And you decided to do clothes and things that were within the reach of most people. These are the authentic borough boys. My PS76 classmates and best buddies. They were major athletes, but unfortunately, not one of these sports could be done outside of the Bronx and probably Brooklyn. So from that third window to here is where I spent the first part of my life. Mickey was always dressed well. Perfect dress, really. Growing up in the Bronx created this enormous, call it an ambition, I call it more a hunger. I identify more with here in my life than I do with where I am today. But I, I, I have the balance of both. But you can never forget your roots. Let's go, doggies. <laughs>